Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this week, really cool, quite exciting new products in front of me, the new Cobra Speed Zone. So, Speed Zone is the latest and greatest driver from Cobra, taking over from last year's Cobra F9 series. Speed Zone, what is it? Today, we're gonna cover three key features. Um, number one, we're gonna be looking at the Infinity Face on it. What's Infinity Face? Well, Infinity Face is machine milled, so very similar to the F9 but 95% a larger milling over the whole club this time as opposed to previous. 95%, that's huge. Typically, golf clubs are hand polished, so the face has been hand polished, it can lead to quite some inconsistencies. Machine milling, well, robots, as long as they're programmed right, we're gonna be 100% perfect every single time. So for consistency factor, you pick one off the shelf in one store, off the shelf in another store, and buy one on the other side of the world, every single one is going to perform exactly the same. So that's really, really cool. Second point we're going to look at today is the strength zone. So this is something that you can't actually see with the physical eye, but thanks to this beautiful display model we've got here, we can see that we've got a T-bar down the middle. What that does is that really helps strengthen up the head. Imagine this is like a roll cage in a race car. It adds a lot more stability to it that's what this bar right down the middle here does. You can also see that with this model here, you can give us a really good idea of how much carbon's within the head. For a statistics point of view, 50% of this body is actually carbon fiber. That's massive, 50%. What that can do is that helps us to really shift that weight from up in the crown here and getting this weight down into the body, into the sole of the golf club, which is what we want to help us to get that golf ball launching up into the air. Point number three, stability. So, what do I mean by that? Well, they've added a tungsten weight into the center right down at the back of the golf club here, and we've also got two movable weights on the sole. This has got one of the lowest CGs on any driver on the market, and having that movability weight down here as well is gonna help with those off-center hits and it's gonna help us to get that added ball speed. Low CG, higher ball speeds, further distance. And that's what this is designed for. So let's get out, let's have a play and see what I think. See, just first couple of balls, we've had one a little bit high, one in the center and one a little bit low there. Interesting was the feel was really quite consistent all the way through. Obviously the one off the middle, nice solid contact good feel and good response out the golf club as well i know where i'm hitting it which is nice to see so when i do have it that little bit low i have that adjustability to actually know next shot I need to maybe tee it up that little bit higher or change and move that ball position so let's try another one so interesting on that last shot there was a concern i caught it so high in the club face Golf ball didn't skyrocket as high as expected, so it really kept that spin down. So the mill in the face is doing its job there, which is nice to see. Let's try it again. A long balls. So Cobra's speed zone, has it been an upgrade from F9? Definitely. So big thing this year is that feedback off the golf club. F9 was really good, this even better. Would I buy one? Would I recommend one? Yeah, most certainly. But the big thing I'd recommend is actually getting fitted for one. The shaft is gonna be the biggest thing for you. Making sure that you've got that right shaft to optimize your club head speed is definitely gonna be the way ahead with this club. So, Cobra S Speed Zone, what do I think? Absolutely love it. Not to mention black and yellow theme once again, Cobra Signature, really nice standout and that little pop of color on the golf course is always nice to see. All right, one last one to finish off with guys. Can't ask for better than that. We've just come down to pick up some golf balls and just very quickly had to get bring the camera back out again. Reason being, well, the golf ball distance has really, really surprised me on this one. So this is probably another 10, 15 meters further than where I usually am. Now, looking through the glass of the golf cart there, we can see how close to the green we are, but that big advantage, that extra 10 meters or so, that's a whole extra golf club. So that next shot in, instead of hitting a seven iron, we're hitting an eight iron. Instead of hitting an eight, we might be hitting a nine. So 
big, big advantage. But as I say, once again, I'm just so surprised and so shocked by how far these actually have landed. So who do I recommend it to? Well, that's really nice and easy. Cobra's actually launched two models this year. So we've got the Speed Zone, which is this one here. And then we've got the Speed Zone Extreme. What's the difference between them? Well, if you're looking to get a lower launching, more controlled ball flight, Speed Zone, for that person that struggles to get that golf ball up in the air and wants to get that golf ball launching really nice and high, Speed Zone Extreme. So it caters for everybody, which is fantastic to see. Once again, thanks so much for watching this week. New Cobra Speed Zone, what a fantastic golf club. I know I say that a lot recently, but this year, 2020, manufacturers are really putting out some amazing products. Once again, remember to give us a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that little bell and subscribe below. Thanks once again for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.